Hey everyone, I'm Heather and welcome back to my channel. So it is test day and we are here with Persona 4 Golden. Uh, we are trying this game out. If it is something that you would like to see more of, like it, comment on it, something, letting me know you would like to see more. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, I can connect to the internet to access new functions. Uh, sure, what, what is it? Vox Polypi. Uh, I guess I could see what decisions other people have made. The rescue request function allows other players to help you when you're in a pinch. These features are not available at the very beginning of the game. I mean, sure, I guess. I always do normal. So let's do that. Okay. Yes. Well, relax and have fun with the game. So I have played this before. This is just the release on Game Pass right here. It seems we have a guest with an intriguing destiny. <laughs> My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. It may be that such a fate awaits you in the near future. Now then, why don't you introduce yourself? Okay, so this character does have a canon name. Let me look up his canon name so we can do that. Canon name, okay. It's you, Narukami. So, Na. So let's go back. Left bumper is back. I just kind of like switched up letters in my brain. Uh, wrong. Um, and then the first name is U. All right. You Narukami, spelled correctly, yes. Hmm, I see. Now, let's take a look into your future, shall we? Do you believe in fortune telling? Each reading is done with the same cards, yet the result is always different. <laughs> Life itself follows the same principles, doesn't it? Hmm. The tower in the upright position represents the immediate future. It seems a terrible catastrophe is imminent. 
The card indicating the future beyond that is... the moon in the upright position. This card represents hesitation and mystery. Very interesting indeed. It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination and a great mystery will be imposed upon you. In the coming days, you will enter into a contract of some sort after which you will return here. The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. My duty is to provide assistance to our guests to ensure that does not happen. Ah, I have neglected to introduce my assistant to you. This is Margaret. She is a resident of this place, like myself. My name is Margaret. I am here to accompany you through your journey. We shall attend to the details another time. Until then, farewell. The refreshing taste of calorie magic. And we're back. Now on to some juicy news. The Mayumi Yamano scandal. I'm sure everyone is eating. <laughs> yeah, first he bags a singer, then he has an affair with a TV announcer on the side. Do chicks really dig politicians? Isn't it just stuff like money and connections? When you get down to it, financial and political clout is what matters. Hey, what is that supposed to mean? Well, what do you think? Well, I'm sure that you all know already, but at the end of this month, he will be transferring to another school. Quiet down, guys. I'm not done yet. These intros do take a really long time in the Persona games. Just about. The question on everyone's minds is how this love triangle will affect. Okay, so it does start the time, but I don't think we get to do a whole lot still. We kind of have to set up. Hey, over here. Well, you're more handsome in person than in your photo. Welcome to Inaba. I'm Ryotaro Dojima. I'll be looking after you. Let's see, I'm your mother's younger brother, and that about sums it up. 
It's been a long time. I assume we would have met him before. I'll say. You've really grown. I still remember when you were in diapers. This here's my daughter. Come on, Nanako. Introduce yourself to your cousin. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> what are you so shy for? Ow! <laughs> <laughs> well then, let's get going. My car's over there. Hey. You drop this. Uh, thank you? Whatever. All I did was pick it up. It's the note you made for yourself with Dojima's address. What's wrong? You got in the car and headed for Dojima's house. I like the town in Persona 4. Inaba, Central Shopping District, Gas Station. Hi, welcome to Mall. Can you go to the bathroom by yourself? It's in the back, to your left. You know which way is left? The side you don't hold your chopsticks in. I know. Jeez. Are you taking a trip? No, we just went to pick him up. He just moved here from the big city. A city, huh? Fill up my car while you're at it. Regular's fine. Right away, sir. Good time as any for a smoke. Are you in high school? Does it surprise a city boy to see how little there is out here? There's so little to do, I'm sure you'll get bored fast. You'll either be hanging out with your friends or doing part-time jobs. You probably do that in the city as well. Speaking of which, we're actually looking for part-time help right now. Give it some thought, why don't you? We don't mind if you're a student. Oh, I should get back to work. Nanako is looking at you. Are you okay? Did you get car sick? You don't look too good. Could it be exhaustion from the long trip? Now that she mentions it, you feel a little dizzy. What's wrong? You okay? Uh, I just felt lightheaded. That's understandable. It must have been a long trip for you. Why not take a little walk? Get some fresh air. Just let me know when you're ready to go. I'll wait here. Why don't you take a walk and get some fresh air? The shopping district is near the house, so you should get to know where all the stores are. Okay. Examine the blue butterfly to save. Okay. So we can wander around. I really like Persona 4. Actually, Persona 3 is my favorite. I just figured for the purposes of like recording it persona 4 would be more interesting persona 3 is very grindy in its dungeons and i feel like persona 4 is less so okay we'll go ahead and save in an rpg i basically save all the time in multiple save spots hmm have we met before uh, I met you just now. Just now? Hmm, okay. 
The girl's thinking to herself. Okay. Hmm, you have something to do in the shopping district? It's a bit run down, but we have everything. It used to be a lot more prosperous back in the day, but we only see regulars nowadays. If only Junas hadn't come into town. It's convenient, but it's a little sad. Hey, do you know where my snacks went? I had it in the fridge, but it's gone. Oh, I ate it just now. I thought it was leftovers. What? No, it wasn't leftovers. I was making sure to save it for later. Oh, really? Sorry about that. Well, I'm going to work. See ya. What? I was really looking forward to eating it. They seem to be having a sibling dispute. You should leave them be. Hmm, I like this shop. It's very nice. It's inconvenient and convenient at the same time. There's a delicate balance. This is what I expect country life to be like. I can check. Dojima is waiting for you. You shouldn't wander too far. Okay, so I guess we can really only go here. Can I actually go in stores? I can do vending machines. A variety of products line the shelves. A friendly looking old lady sits behind the counter. There's a line of old capsule vending machines, but the dials are rusted in place. You cannot turn them. That looks different right there. Hmm. Okay, let's just go back. How are you feeling? Ready to get back in the car? I'm ready. I don't think I was supposed to do anything. Alright, let's hit the road then. During events, press the backlog button to see the log and skip event button to skip events. You arrived at the Dojima residence. For the next year, this place will be your home. All right, let's have a toast. So, your mom and dad are busy as always. They're working overseas, was it? I know it's only for a year, but getting stuck in a place like this because of your parents? That's rough being a kid. Well, it's just me and Nanako here, so it'll be nice having someone like you around. So long as you're here, you're part of the family, so make yourself at home. Uh, thank you for your kindness. <laughs> Come on, there's no need to be so formal. <laughs> Look, you're making Nanako all tense. Well, anyway, let's eat. Oh, who's calling at this hour? Dojima speaking. Mm hmm Yeah, I see. So where is it? Uh-huh. All right, I'm on my way. Looks like I made the right choice to skip the booze. Sorry, but I gotta go take care of some business. Go ahead and eat without me. I don't know how late I'll be. Nanako, you help him out, okay? Okay. Nanako, it's raining out. What did you do with the laundry? I already brought it in. All right. Well, I'm off. The sound of the front door closing. Rattle. Car starting. All right. For this week. Next, let's take a look at the hourly breakdown of tomorrow's weather. With storm clouds moving in from the west, Expect rain throughout the day tomorrow in most areas. Let's eat. You find yourself alone with Nanako. You might want to strike up a conversation. Oh, uh, what does your dad do? He investigates stuff, like 
crime scenes. My dad's a detective. And now for the local news. City Council Secretary Taro Namatame is under fire for an alleged relationship with a female reporter. His wife, Enka ballad sensation Misuzu Hiragi, revealed to this station that she will likely pursue damages. In response, iTelevision has decided to cancel all of announcer Mayumi Yamano's televised appearances. Until allegations of an affair with Mr. Namatame are resolved, she'll remain off the air and out of the public eye. This is boring. At Juness, every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day is great at your Juness. Every day is great at your Juness. Aren't you going to eat? You can save the game by using the calendar in the living room. Okay. Guess we will just save again. And... See if we can look at any. We can check in the fridge. Um... Let's not eat it. I don't know if it's going to completely end our day. I th I believe it does. I don't also don't know if it would help right now because eating the food gives you like effects or something, but it does take time. I often don't do that. I don't usually eat food out of the fridge because it isn't used very often. The kitchen is organized. Uh, if there were ingredients in the refrigerator, you might be able to make lunch. That is not something I do very often here. Oh, um, Nanako is at a loss. You should leave her alone. I think I just really don't have much else to do right now. This is the room you're borrowing from Dojima. You're tired from the long trip. You should rest. Okay. Let's go to sleep. You'll be living in this town for one year, starting today. You wonder if everything will be all right. School starts tomorrow. You should hurry to bed. This is... The area is covered in a thick fog. All you can do right now is proceed forward. Okay. Let's do this. One thing about, like, Persona 3, 4, and 5 is their dungeons are very... Dungeony. It's not quite like that in Persona 1 and 2. Do you seek the truth? You hear someone's voice. I'm currently on my own playing Persona 2 Innocent Sin, the one that was on, that never came out on PS1 in English, but came out on the PSP. If it's truth you desire, come and find me. You hear the voice from up ahead. You sent someone ahead. Will you continue? Yes. So, you were the one pursuing me. Hmm. Try all you like. Okay, it's not going to let me do anything. There are obviously <laughs> shadows. Hmm. It seems you can see a little, despite the fog. Can I do skills? Oh, I can do that. Will it let me? I see. Indeed. That is very interesting information. 
But you will not catch me so easily. If what you seek is truth, then your search will be even harder. The surroundings are covered in fog. Ugh. Everyone sees what they want to, and the fog only deepens. Will we meet again? At a place other than here? Hmm, I look forward to it. You are losing consciousness. You can hear someone's voice. Breakfast ready! It's almost time to get up. You feel like you had a nightmare. What could it have been about? You're starting school today. You should head to the living room for now. Good morning. Okay. Let's eat. Do you, do you do the cooking? I can toast bread and cook sunny side up eggs in the morning. Dad can't cook, so I buy dinner. You're starting school today, right? My school's on the way, so let's go together. Nanako seems somewhat restless. You decide to head to school with Nanako. School Zone Samagawa Floodplain You keep going straight from here. My school's this way. Bye! School zone, intersection in front of the school. That looked painful. You should leave him be. You arrived at the main gates of Yasogami High School. What kind of student life awaits you here? Talk about bad luck. The homeroom teacher here is Moraoka, isn't it? Yeah, it's King Moron, all right. We get to enjoy his long-ass sermons every day for a whole year. Hey, you guys, I heard there's going to be a transfer student from the city in this class. Huh? Really? A guy or a girl? A transfer student from the city? Just like you, huh, Yosuke? Huh? You look dead today. Yeah, um, I don't want to talk about it. What's with him? Who knows? All right, shut your traps! I'm Kinshiro Moraoka, your homeroom teacher from today forward. First things first, just because it's spring doesn't mean you can swoon over each other like love-struck baboons. Long as I'm around, you students are going to be pure as the driven snow. Now, I hate wasting my time, but I'd better introduce this transfer student. This sad sack's been thrown from the big city out to the middle of nowhere like yesterday's garbage. And he's just as much of a loser here as he was there. So you girls better not get any ideas about hitting on him. Tell him your name, kid, and make it quick. Uh, nice to meet you all. What's that look you're giving that girl back there by the window? You thought I wouldn't notice? 
Now listen up. This town is miles away from your big city of perverts and assholes in more ways than one. You'd better not even think of getting involved with the girls here, let alone abusing them. But what do I know? It's not like the old days. Even here, kids grow up so damn fast. Every time I turn my back, you're fooling around on those damn phones, checking your life journals and your my places. Mr. Moroka goes on and on. Excuse me, is it okay if the transfer student sits here? Huh? Yeah, sure. You hear that? Your seat's over there. So hurry up and sit down already. He's the worst, huh? Rotten luck for you to get stuck in this class. Well, we just have to hang in there for a year. You can hear people around you talking about you. Sucks to be the transfer student, ending up in King Moron's class on the first morning here. Yeah, he won't think twice about suspending you if you get on his bad side. Then again, we're all in the same boat. Shut your traps! I'm taking roll, and I damn well expect you to respond in an orderly manner. Your life at this new school has begun. Will you be able to fit in here? That's all for today. Normal lectures will start tomorrow. Attention all teachers. Please report immediately to the faculty office for a brief staff meeting. All students must return to their classrooms and are not to leave the school until further notice. Ugh. You heard the announcement. Don't go anywhere until you hear otherwise. He's seriously getting on my nerves. Did something happen? Don't those sirens sound really close? Ah, I can't see a damn thing. Frickin' fog. Yeah, like every time it rains lately, it gets all foggy. Hey, did you hear? I hear that paparazzi's looking all over for that announcer. Oh huh, yeah, you mean Mayumi Yamano, right? I heard some guy spotted her at the shopping district. Actually, I heard that... Are you serious? Uh, hey, hey, Yukiko-san. Mind if I ask you something? Is it true that announcer staying at your family's inn? I can't discuss such things. Yeah, I guess not. Oh, sheesh. How much longer is this gonna take? There's no telling. I should have left before the announcement came on. By the way, did you try what I told you the other day? You know, that thing about rainy nights? Oh. No, not yet. Sorry. Aw, oh, that's okay. It's just, I heard a guy in the class next door yell something like, My soulmate is Yamino, the announcer. Attention, all students. There has been an incident inside the school district. Police officers have been dispatched around the school zone. Please stay calm and contact your parents or guardians as soon as possible and quickly leave the school grounds. Do not disturb the police officers. Head directly home. I repeat. Incident? What, something actually happened? Come on, let's go take a look. Are you going home by yourself? Why don't you come with us? Oh, nearly forgot. I'm Chie Satonaka. You know, I sit next to you, right? Of course. Well, nice to meet you. 
This is Yukiko Amagi. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm sorry that this is so sudden. Come on, don't apologize like that. It makes me look like I got no upbringing. I just wanted to ask some stuff, really. That's all. Uh, um, Miss Satanaka. This was really awesome. Like, the way they moved was just amazing to see. And I'm really sorry. It was an accident. Please just have mercy until my next paycheck. See ya. Thanks. Stop right there. What did you do to my DVD? Ah! What the? I can't believe this! It's completely cracked! Oh! My trial of the dragon! I think mine's cracked too. Critical hit to the nads. Uh, are you alright? Oh. Yukiko-san, are you worried about me? He's fine, Yukiko. Let's ditch him and go home. He looks like he's in a lot of pain. You should leave him be. You're Yuki, right? You want to go hang out somewhere? What? Who, who are you? What's up with him? What school's he from? Never mind that. He's going for Yukiko-san? Man, you'd think he'd at least wait until she's alone to make his move. I bet you a can of tap he gets knocked out. <laughs> no bet. Haven't you heard how difficult the Amagi challenge is? Uh, so, uh, are you coming or not? I- I'm not going. Fine! What- well, what did he want from me? What did he want? Uh, obviously he was asking you out on a date. Huh? Really? You really had no clue? Sheesh. But then again, that was way over the top. It was creepy how he called you Yuki all of a sudden. Yo, Yukiko-san. Turned down another lovelorn fool, huh? Man, you're cruel. You got me the same way last year. I don't recall doing that. Oh, you serious? So then you want to hang out sometime? I'd rather not. That'll teach me to get my hopes up. Anyways, you two better not pick on the transfer student too much. We're just curious is all! Um, I'm sorry for dragging you into this. Come on, let's go! Everyone's staring. So you came here because of your parents' job? <laughs> I thought it was something way more serious. There really is nothing here, huh? That's what makes it nice. But there is nothing much we can show to people from outside. Though there is something from Mount Yasagami. I think our dyed clothes or pottery or something is kind of famous. Oh, wait! And there's the Amagi Inn! Yukiko's family runs it! It's the pride of Inaba! Huh? It's... just an old inn. No way! It's been in all sorts of magazines as a hidden treasure! It's a great inn! It's been going for generations, and Yukiko here is gonna take over someday. Their inn actually attracts a lot of visitors to Inaba. It pretty much keeps this town going. I don't think that's entirely true. So, tell me. You think Yukiko's cute, huh? Uh, yeah. Sure. Oh, I knew it! 
come on, don't start this again. She's really popular at school, but she's never had a boyfriend. Kind of weird, huh? Come on, stop it. Y you shouldn't believe that, okay? It's not true that I'm popular or that I've never had a boyfriend. Wait, no, no, no. What I meant to say was I, I don't need a boyfriend. Jeez, GA. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. But this is our chance to talk to someone from the big city. And you barely said a word. Hey, what's that? So that high schooler left school early, and as she came down this street... Wow, who could imagine that hanging from an antenna? I wanted to see it too. Oh, you got here too late. The police and fire department took it down just a moment ago. Well, I think it's terrifying. I can't believe a dead body showed up around here. Wait, what did she just say? A dead body? Hey, what are you doing here? Uh, we were just passing by. Huh, I should have figured that had happened. That damn principal. We told him not to let them through here. You know this guy? I'm Detective Dojima, his guardian. Uh, well, how should I say this? I hope you get along with him. But you three really ought to stop wandering around and head straight home. <coughs> Adachi, how long are you going to act like a rookie? You want to be sent back to the central office? I'm sorry. <clears throat> Oh, go wash your face. We're gonna go around and gather information. Was this what that announcement was about? What do they mean it was hanging from the antenna? Hey, Yukiko. Why don't we go to Juness some other time? Good idea. All right, then, we're taking off. Starting tomorrow, neighbor, let's do our best. The two of them left. You decide to head away from the crime scene. Okay, so this is the main menu. We can go here. I, I don't know that it matters at this point where we go. Um, I think I am going to go ahead and end this episode here. This was mostly the intro, so there wasn't a lot going on but the dialogue to do the intro. This game does have more stuff going on if you have not played it before. Uh, but if you would like to see this game continue, like it, comment, uh, whatever. Let me know that you would like to see this, but for now, that is everything and I will see you guys later. Bye!